Welcome to ACG Online. I'm Mimi Kalinda. So, why is it important to cultivate, incentivize, and inspire a mass movement of the realignment of the image of Africa with the aim of helping Africans have more self-love, self-worth, and confidence in themselves as citizens of the world? Why do we need to love ourselves more, basically, to break it down? Well, first of all, I uh, think that you have probably heard of numerous reports and one McKinsey report in particular, very recent, that referred to the fact that in 2050, Africa will have the largest working population in the world. The largest population of youth who are of working age. Well, that is very interesting because one of two things could happen. This youth could be either an asset or they could be a liability. And not just on Africa, but on the world. Many say that the US is saturating or is saturated and Europe is aging and Africa is the continent of the future. If that's the truth, then our youth is well positioned to play a vital role, not just in Africa's growth and development, but in global transformation on all levels. So imagine now this youth um, based on um, patterns of the past and what their uh, forefathers went through with slavery and colonialism and, and the prejudice that they encounter in their day-to-day -day lives and the regret, um, self-hatred and self-abuse that we as Africans often put ourselves through and these are the people that we are relying on to lead the world in the, into the next century, into the quantum age. Um, I really believe that it is time we start addressing that question now of what kind of people we are as Africans and what kind of people and identity we really want to cultivate in our youth. Um, and I believe that the way to do that is to expose them from a very young age to images of themselves um, of excellence, of images of themselves um, or people who look like them doing great things in the world um, so that they can relate to that and say, I could do that too. Um, to change the narrative, to tell them stories um, of, of, of Africans who are innovating, uh, game changers, and uh, you know, thinkers and, and problem solvers who are solving African problems and global problems. And to really slowly but surely use storytelling to start shifting their perceptions about their place in the world so that in the future, by 2050, we have cultivated and, and, and incentivized and inspired a generation of young Africans who are ready and, and uh, not only ready, but willing, able to take on the challenges that the world will throw their way at that time. Let's make sure that the next generation of Africans, the young Africans who are going to lead the world and who are going to um, f find solutions to African and global challenges in 2050 and beyond, have the tools have been prepared through storytelling, through the shifting of the narrative and the realignment of the image of their continent and themselves to take on those responsibilities, to be willing, able and equipped to take on those responsibilities so that the world we live in um, in the future is one that reflects their confidence.